Um, so if you're, uh, I, I, I understand that you're probably not necessarily going to want to share too much of this information, but uh, what would you say to uh, bowlers who want to come out on the tour or even some of the guys who are out there now? What would you uh, give as the most uh, important attributes to making a great player? Like things that if they do this differently, they have no chance. Like what would be the things that you really focus on when you look at guys? Well, uh, the first thing I do is I say you got to be grounded in something. And so if you look at all the top, let's say, 30, 40 players throughout all the years, everyone had a great spare game. They just didn't say they did. They did have a great spare game. And that, that it will ground you. That will get your average to where at the end of the year you, you're going to get in the top 10, top 12, just simply because you've got so many games out there. So I would say spend more time at your spares than you do your strikes because we can even carry a Brooklyn on a bad shot. You cannot carry a Brooklyn on – a four pin spare. You either miss it or you make it. Uh, the next thing I would do is I'd say, look, you've got to have an offering for all the conditions. And I'm not saying uh, find an offering for cheetah at night or no, no, for every condition that comes out at all time, find an offering. Uh, and what I mean by that is if you're going to go straight, find a, a straight game that can actually win, not just a straight game that you're going straight. A lot of people throw the ball straight and they, they, they're not going anywhere. They may as well be hooking it. Uh, so know what it is to have an advantage going straight. Know what it is to have an advantage hooking it. And if you don't know that you have the advantage, yeah, you need to wait just a little longer before you go out there and have it handed to you. Uh, you're going to know one way or the other who's got the advantage. Is it going to be on your money or is it going to be on theirs? And that's Very about, wise words. That about wraps it all up, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, we're all done here. That was great. Right. You're good at the spare game, and you've got and you've got an offering from all different parts of the lane. Then you're going to do all right, and and you'll you'll advance into some sort of success. Now, Norm's talking about spares here, but the thing he also has is that he's also got a couple of the records, all time PBA records. He has a six game record from back in Peoria in 1994, 1635, 272 average. That's not bad. Nice to know they weren't always, you know, they weren't tough every week in the 90s, like people like us to believe. No, that yeah. was in the same clip that we just saw. That was probably the day or two before that. <laughs> yeah, the 18 game block. He also set the record that week at 46.96 with an average of just almost 261. So, uh, yeah, that's that's not bad crossing pairs. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. <funny. laughs> Hey, in the same week, I got the highest losing game ever recorded on television. So, oh yeah, was, there you go, two eighty. That was a week about records, but no title. You know, Goble got to go home with the trophy. That son of a gun. 